All right, so what you're looking at is an export from Mixamo. I don't know what its latest name is, but um, I think they were acquired by Adobe recently. Ah, you can even see the tears in her fabric. That's pretty cool. So I don't know how these clothes were created, but chances are good they were probably in something like Garment Designer in 3D Max or the equivalent in Maya. Um, could very well be that they were designed in Marvelous Designer as well, but this is not my work. Uh, this is a standard avatar that you can download with a free account uh, of Mixigum, uh, Mixamo. And it's pretty darn cool because you can get a whole bunch of animation packs for free. And uh, you can really get in close. It's going to be amazing um, how much more fidelity people are going to need if they're going to try and do photorealistic or hyperrealistic. Because people will be able to get right up close and look at it from all angles. Like from a smaller you know, 2D screen, those stitches on the arms would look pretty realistic. But as you can see, uh, in real, in quote unquote real life, they look uh, pretty bad. But uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to put something like this in the hands of the artist so they can see their work and really go to town on on some of the aspects of it. Like the eyes are pretty neat. She'll hold still for a minute, but still, really, really cool. Really cool to have this in my driveway. Hey Cortana, stop recording. <laughs>